Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is David. Today we're going to talk about eight ways I grow my business and I think you can do it too. is about patience and sacrifice. You won't achieve anything if you don't do those two things. As cliche as it may sound, you have to put in the work. Yes, everybody says this, put in the work, but it is true. You just have to put in the work. Yes, you have to make sacrifices. Yes, you have to do things that you may not like, that you may not enjoy, but you have to think about the bigger picture. You have to think about the long run. And that is something that you can't run away from. So before I cover the topic, eight ways I grow my business, let me give you a short story about how I started my business. So I always wanted to be an entrepreneur before it became so mainstream, before it became so popular and everybody wants to do it now. But I didn't know where to start. I didn't have the information. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I just knew that I wanted to become an entrepreneur. I wanted to have my own business. I wanted to run my own company. I wanted to have employees, I wanted to hire people, hire my friends, and that is what I wanted to do in the beginning. So what I started doing is writing down all the things that I was involved in at the time, all the things that I enjoyed doing, my hobbies, things that I always find interesting, so I started writing down stuff. And these were the results of what came to me. I honestly believe God gave me those ideas because most of the stuff that I came up with, I had no experience in it. I just enjoy stuff. I just enjoy looking at stuff. I enjoy partaking in stuff. And it just came to me that these six subsidiaries came to my mind. And I believe with all my heart that God is the one who gave me this. Let's get it started. Number one, start doing things that you may not like, but I can make you a quick buck. Nothing illegal. Nothing that would get you in trouble with the law. Think about this. When I started, I started with barbecues. Something simple, not easy, because at the beginning, I failed miserably. Um, first time I did it, second time I did it, third time I did it. On the fourth time, I started making some money and I started making some profit. But we all have skills, we all have talents, we all have something that we can do that can make us some money. Some arts and crafts, selling water, selling nuts, selling nuts on the highway as a possibility. So start with that. All right, number two. This is where number one will get you into number two. Reinvest what you make into the business. So when I started making a profit with the barbecues, I reinvested the money that I make. I didn't spend anything. I had to, do, I had to make a sacrifice. I didn't spend anything outside of reinvesting what I made into the business. So I started buying pots, pans, utensils, a barbecue grill, a ring stove so I was able to expand the business and do more than just 25 barbecues. I started going up to 100, started going up to 200, I made my way up to 300 at a point, 400. So that is where I reinvested all that I had. I didn't spend it on anything, I didn't spend it on no clothes or no shoes. So I reinvested what I made in the business back into the business. All right, number three. Collaborations. Collaborate with somebody in the same or similar field like you. Like for example, my wife, my girlfriend at the time, she has a graphic design company, fantastic graphic designer. So she has a lot of clients who sometimes may overlap with the things that they need, such as videography and photography. She, do, she does logos and designs, and sometimes clients need those stuff like videography. And photography so she recommended me to be to do that part of the business so that's so important to find people around that could help you to advance and to build up your business with collaboration so it's a give and take as well because some of my clients when I have videography and photography clients they may need graphic design I don't do graphic design so I recommend her as a person to do their graphic design so that collaboration will help immensely that is one of the things that helped me grow my business 
immensely. I'm so thankful for her for that because in the beginning, you wouldn't get a lot of clients, so you need to find creative ways to advance and build your business. Number four. Number four is referrals. Ha, huh, that's the greatest way and the best way to grow your clientele. You did a fantastic job with your videography or with your cooking or you're selling something, you're selling cakes, you're selling cupcakes and somebody said, oh, this person does cupcakes, she does a great job. Then they tell somebody word of mouth and it passes around. Sometimes you think, oh, we're going to post it on social media or Facebook. Sometimes that doesn't grow your business because people don't know you for that. So when you do a good job, when you get a job to do, do a fantastic job and somebody will tell somebody what you did. And eventually the word will go around that that girl does this, that guy does this, and that word of mouth passes around and it eventually will boost your clientele. All right, number five. I really never thought I would recommend this because I didn't believe in it at, at the time and it needs to be something that you think about and have a structure with it and don't go overboard. Free work. As for me as a videographer and a photographer, I needed clients, I needed I needed work to show people that I can do this work. So I started with my family, friends, did a lot of free work there. I did a lot of 50% off, sometimes 90% off, starting off videography and photography, just to build up my portfolio so that, so that I will have a profile to show people. So that is a great way that you can have material so that you can market online. So free work might sound like, ah, I don't want to do this, but you need work to show that you have work, that you're something, that you're someone who does this type of work. So free work is something that you need to do to build up your portfolio, to have a profile on what you have been doing. Yeah. Online marketing is one of the best tools to promote your work. Make social media a friend. Get on Instagram, get on Facebook. Sometimes you may not like it. I personally don't really like Facebook or Instagram and stuff. I really personally don't like it. But I use it as a tool to market and promote my work. Be strategic, be professional, be clean. Invest in getting clean, professional work. That is so important. Use that social media as your friend. That's your best friend, to be honest. That's one of the tools that you can use and it's free. It's free for everybody to use. Not everybody would like your work, but I guarantee people are looking, people are watching, and they're seeing it. It's all about getting people to look at your work. And it will reap some very great rewards for you. That's one of the ways I really built my brand and built the company through social media. It made it a level playing field. The kind of promotion and marketing that I get on social media, I would have to pay thousands of dollars just to get that. I was doing it the traditional way, like radio, like television, like billboards everybody on social media so make social media your friend use it strategically don't overdo it don't over post make sure that you know when the right time to post the right thing to post but use it as a tool to advance and to build your business to grow your business seven. number seven a strong professional brand that will allow you to stand out in this already crowded market please invest in a proper logo if you want people to take you seriously invest in a proper logo that will allow people to see that you are professional, that you're taking your craft seriously, that you're taking your business seriously. Of course, I will plug in my wife who has creative works. She does all of our branding, all of our designs, all of our things that makes us look very good. She does that. So invest in a professional logo. Make sure that your brand stands out. Make sure it is clean, not overcrowded. Please invest in branding. Trust me, it makes a big difference in how people view you, how people take you seriously. Invest in branding. Last but not least, my favorite, may not be the most important, but it's my favorite. Invest in your work. Invest in learning and training, getting more information, invest in your craft. Trust me, it makes a big difference. And right now, we're in this world right now where YouTube is a great resource to, to learn. Most of the things I have learned was from YouTube. Studied YouTube, I, I took a lot of courses, I took a lot of 
free courses online, a lot of platforms where you could get free courses. I paid for some courses, but invest in your craft. Learn how to do things on your own. Try to develop your skills and enhance your skills. When I started out, I couldn't have done this. I couldn't have done this, all this setup. But I learned those things off of YouTube. I learned these things off of free courses, paid courses from other persons. There are persons in the same industry like me who helped me out, who I asked for advice, who taught me certain things, who advised me on what type of camera to get, what kind of setup to get. You can learn all these things online, invest in your craft. This is one of the most important things. If you want people to take your work serious, or if you want to look professional, keep learning all the time. It's free. YouTube, you can do a full class on videography and photography, on cooking, on whatever, cleaning, making nuts, making soap, all those things. Invest in your craft because you want to get better, you want to grow, and that's one of the ways that you will definitely grow by learning. Keep learning every day. I do that every single day. I try to learn something every day. Go on YouTube, learn how to do videos better, learn how to do photography better, learn how to do branding better. So invest in your craft. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. She just interrupted me when I was talking about Brandon. This is gonna be in the video. I'm gonna put this in the video. <laughs> <laughs> All right.